Hi guys, Marks here again, back in the garage, and today we're removing the swing arm. So this sucker here. And there is a few things to uh, consider when doing this. Uh, you do not necessarily need special tools, but there are special tools available uh, that you can buy from Yamaha, which is pretty cheap. So what I'm talking about is this. This is the engine alignment tool one, I think, and you will find the part number for it below. So this um, is you know, used to loosen and tighten the push collar that we have in here. So I will explain that better. Otherwise, the only thing you need, you know, a 21 millimeter socket, the bolt is capped or captive or, you know, on the left side. So you don't need to reach around and uh, have a wrench in your hand and so on. So you only need to loosen the, the nut from this side. Other things that you need to do is, of course, remove your shock. Uh, your uh, little holders here for the brake uh, ho hose and, and the ABS sensor wire. So there are two different uh, attachments here. I also re removed my chain guard, of course, the rear wheel, which is, uh, you know, a must. And uh, then you just need uh, this one. And if you don't have access to this uh, engine alignment tool, you need a 15 millimeter Allen or hex key. So this shaft here is like the, the axle that you have in here that holds the, the swing arm. In here you have the 15 millimeter hex key and then out here is just something to you know hold on to when when uh, you know loosen or tightening the the push collar so the only thing the push collar in here does is to push the swing arm to the left and keep it tight so it can it doesn't have any play in it it can move left and right that's the only thing and it's like I think it was seven Newton meter of you know, torque that you apply on that one, so not a lot. It's more on this nut here. I will use my impact driver to uh, loosen it up as I have my bike on the on the stand. So let's uh, start with this, right? The nut is off, and uh, if I push this axle out now, you also have a Pretty, pretty fat washer here for the nut as well. So put that aside. And if I just push this axle out, grab it on the other side. It's a long axle. You can see that my swing arm is still on the bike. It doesn't want to come out. And that's why you need this 15 millimeter hex uh, or Allen key to, to remove uh, or loosen that uh, little, little, um, push collar in here and I will take a picture with my with my phone so you can see how it looks like and insert it here so what I will do now I will put this in you can see that I can't move it now and then I will just loosen this up and uh, when you loosen it, it goes to one point and it cannot move anymore because this push collar is actually a plastic, plastic thingy. It's removed from the other side, so you cannot remove it out from the bike from this side. Now it's loose and let's uh, change the camera angle. The swing arm is kept in the bike due to the engine alignment tool and that's why we have this alignment tool with the shaft. So when you put it back, you insert this and the swing arm will be aligned and everything when you tighten the push collar. So that's the good thing with it. So if you don't have that tool and have a 15 millimeter hex or Allen, use your, your um, swing arm bolt or axle and insert it from the other side all the way through and then push in your little hex or Allen key and uh, tighten the, the push collar. So that will keep the swing arm, you know, aligned in, in the bike. So it's hard to get a nice picture in here, but you can see my chain is here. And uh, what I will do now, I will just brace this with my arm, 
pull out the alignment tool and then you need to tilt it to one side and then get it out. So we will look at the, at the swing arm because you have two places or three places to actually clean and, and uh, put grease on. So you don't only have the, the, um, the bearings for the, for the axle here but you also have the bearing for the dog bone down here. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is the push collar in here. It's a plastic thing, so it unscrews inwards. So if you want to remove it and replace it, you will have to take it out this way. I will actually remove it, clean it and regrease it and clean all the surfaces or mating surfaces that pushes onto the swing arm here. And make sure when you install the swing arm again, Get the swing arm in between the chain. I've done the mistake in having the chain like this and <laughs> I had to remove the swing arm once again to get it in place, so to say. And that's it here. And uh, let's go and check out the swing arm. So here we go. Here's the swing arm. So you have this chain guide here on the swing arm. It's only on the left side of, of the bike. You know, the one that you measure your chain, uh, chain tension from. This one is removable, very easily done so. You just take a big screwdriver and uh, you have two like plugs. And in the front you just pull it off. And you have a plug there and the plug there, so four plugs that holds it in place and then you can take this one off. You can order these from Yamaha or from off the road they have these so if you mess this one up or want to replace it you can order this as a separate item. You also have the, the plugs here on the inside that you can remove and please do not store stuff in your swing arm. I know that people say that, oh, this little here, behind here, you can put a tube in here or something else. Don't store stuff in parts that are moving really, really fast and you don't want any extra weight on. So stuff has already fallen out from my bike here that we will come to later. So if we start with the rear of the bike, there's nothing special or the rear of the swing arm. Underneath here, Here is the uh, dog bone for the linkage, uh, the dog bone sits here and you have uh, bearings in here and of course a shaft as well, right, or a, a sleeve that the bolt goes through and you have one bearing on each side. Those will be clean out and re-grease in the front of the swing arm, hopefully you can see this. Uh, here is the part where the little push collar push onto the swing arm. This cup is removable. Behind this cup you have like a rubber seal here on the outside that's keeping you know water from coming in and so on. Same goes on the other side. A cup. And then of course you have a sleeve in here as well that you can remove. I will uh, remove it. I should have cleaned the, the, this one out a bit better before. So I will do the same for, for the bearings down here. And on this side, you actually have two bearings that's stacked. And on the other side, you only have one bearing in here. And in the service manual, if you replace these bearings, there is a distance, you know, how far in maximum and minimum they need to be pushed, right? So on the drive side of the swing arm, you have two bearings because you have more pull and or whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty much the swing arm and I will clean this really thoroughly. I will actually replace my sprockets and chain as well. I don't know if you want to see a video on that, but if you want to, I can make a video on that as well. And this is the swing arm. And as I said, putting it back into the bike is not hard. Uh, just make sure that the chain is above and 
below the swing arm when you install it and you need to install the right side first in like a twist it and then put the left side in and then push in your your uh, swing arm axle and um, and then make sure to find a 15 millimeter hex or allen key to tighten the push bushing um, or push collar um, so the swing arm cannot move sideways and then just put the axle in and I will write the Newton meter you need to tighten the nut for for the swing arm axle as well that's it nothing more to it so so now I remove the, the sleeves and I'm just cleaning out any excess oil grease from the bearings. So I'm pretty just, just smooshing in some fresh paper and then pushing it through. It will remove most of the, the grease that's in there that is old. It's really hard to see but... It looks pretty nice. You do the same thing here for, for the big bearings as well. And um, then you should be fine to go and you know, pack it in with new grease. Don't get cheap on me, you know. You can put in as much as you want. And uh, when you push the, the sleeve through, any excess will pop out right from the other side. So that's all that is to it so I'll uh, get back to you when I'm almost done with this and uh, we'll see how it looks I forgot to mention but in the cups that sits here protecting all the you know the bearings and so on the seal sit in the cup and you can remove this seal it looks like this and clean that as well and uh, then you can you know just insert it in the cup and it's ready to go now everything is spotless in here. I haven't greased it yet. I'm going to grease it now and then put all the sleeves and and uh, these caps on and everything. And then I will uh, store this until I replace my chain. And then I can put on the swing arm again. Because I have a closed loop chain which requires you taking off the swing arm to replace the chain. So I don't need to break the chain. That's it folks. It's done, cleaned, greased, and uh, just perfect. So I will not put this on the bike right now. I will put it on, as I said before, when I change my chain and sprockets. So it will uh, be hanging here for a while. And uh, I hope you enjoy this one. So if you're going to remove your swing arm, now it should not be a big headache. Now you know what you need to have or to do. So, right. Hope you have a nice weekend and uh, stay safe, take care, cheerios, bye bye.